Alright, welcome back to the shop. My name is Buddy Phillips and we're continuing on the, continuing on the gearbox rebuild for the 14 and a half inch South Bend Lady. Okay, so far we've got this first set of gears put back in. Uh, you probably saw that on the previous video. So our next step is to go ahead and put in the next set of gears. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pre-lube these felts. Okay, we've got the gear assembly here. Everything was left in order. Uh, we use this copper wire to keep everything in order so we don't have to worry about uh, making a mistake here, getting something out of, out of order. I'm going to go ahead and put a little oil on this shaft here. Just make sure everything goes on real nice. I think a general rule of thumb here is just go ahead and make sure everything is well oiled. And I want a little bit of oil on each one of these gears. Right in here we've got a hole that takes a taper pin. So what I'm doing here is I'm working on lining up this hole. I've got my brass block right here. And I've got it jammed in between the gears. And we're almost lined up. That looks pretty good right there. Got the taper pin. And the looks of it, the way that taper pin's going in, we need to line up just a little bit more. Right there looks pretty good. I'm 
All right, there it is, folks. Okay, we're going to take our 5 sixteenths tap. We're going to go ahead and chase these threads. Take a moment to get it started first. going real easy. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and put the set screw back in place. That's going in beautifully. Go ahead and oil inside here too. Make sure that felt is well oiled. If you recall from my other videos, this is an area that I have problems taking this apart. Mainly due to the lack of oil. The shaft here was, of course, the one that I had to uh, repair. I'll take a stone too and grind down a little bit. That fits really, really good. Look at that. No hammer, nothing, just goes right on there. That's the way it was supposed to come off. Alright, so on the end of that shaft, we've got a, a ring and a tapered pin and hold it in place. Let's go ahead and put some oil on that. We are oiling everything.
All right, we will tap that in place. That looks pretty good. All right, hammer that on place. Put back in the screws. Look at that, everyone. <laughs> oh, man, that's nice. Wow. Sure wasn't like that when we took it off. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put some oil on here. Make sure everything is very well lubricated. And that just slides in there just like that. It's turning really nice. Go ahead and oil this. Also oil where it goes. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okay, we're going to put this top tray on. Alright, so a couple things left to do on this. Um, got oil covers that I've got to get uh, some different oil covers for. What I got uh, previously uh, did not fit. They were also not of the quality that I was looking for. The other thing is, is this plate right here. Put back in place. I've got it all cleaned up. Uh, I just have to go ahead and get it painted. then it'll be ready to go back on. Okay everyone, welcome back. Um, we just finished with the gearbox project and uh, that was a lot of fun. So, uh, and quite a bit of challenge too. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do, uh, well first off we're going to go ahead and put this on the shelf and put it uh, put it away and keep it safe until we're, uh, until we're ready to put it back on the lathe. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start taking apart the uh, the apron. 
and all, and we're going to um, see what kind of challenges and what kind of fun we can get into on that. So uh, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate, uh, appreciate everyone for taking the time and watching these videos, and I appreciate, uh, I appreciate you also for uh, taking a moment and uh, clicking subscribe. And that helps me to know that uh, you're enjoying watching uh, watching this kind of videos and what I'm working on. I also enjoy hearing your positive comments. And I love uh, love communicating back and forth with everyone uh, every chance I get. So um, once again, thank you for watching, and um, looking forward to continuing the uh, restoration project on the 14 and a half inch South Bend lathe. Well, y'all have a good evening.